Okay, here we go. Happy Sunday. Hi. Hi, y'all. We are at Lynn's Farm. Fruit Farm. Fruit Farm. You're right. In Pataskala, Ohio. Ohio. Don't ask me where that is because I don't know. The middle of uh, yes. nowhere. The middle of nowhere. It's like literally farm world. Farm world. Ooh, look at this light. Hello. So we're here. We just are taking photos and we are thinking about um, doing a hayride or something. Yeah, something we just been, Yes. We're trying to be festive, you know. <laughs> but there's... Oh, there's an apple orchard. That's what we need to find. Because I've yeah. never picked apples. So yes, we're, um, we're going to take you with us because we've never been here. Ever. So you can explore with us. whole week gone because I'm just gonna apologize in advance for the fact that I have not been recording at all this week I mean literally I haven't been recording and I think it's because it's been such a super stressful week and I've just been extra big time stressed out I'm just gonna leave it at that so <laughs> it's okay though because we are finally seeing the Sun and it's actually probably a good thing that I didn't record a whole lot because I'm going on a trip this weekend and of course I'm going to capture it for you guys and put it in the vlog. I figured you know I'll save some video footage for this weekend. Hopefully I can record. So I needed some business cards for the conference because it's a huge networking opportunity. It's the largest gathering of minority PhD students or doctoral students in the country. So basically my uh, boss and other people that have gone before were like yeah you're going to need business cards. So I did a quick fast order with Staples online and got my business cards. So I feel really bougie because who am I? I don't have a business yet or like a career, but here we are. And they're actually really cute. I feel very official. I feel very like I have money and I don't. <laughs> and they're only, I think $14 for, or $15 for um, 250 of them. So I got a deal. But now I'm running into Target to grab some last minute things for the trip and then I have to go back to campus because I still have classes tonight, so. door like before I touch anything even though I did use the bathroom because I have to use the bathroom first of all can we just what what this light wait you gotta okay so I went in because I was like okay I gotta use the bathroom turn the light on shook 
What? What? You see how that light popped in like that, y'all? Y'all, what? This is all to myself, okay? You feel me? You feel me? You feel, like, do you, what is this even? It's like textured, fancy wallpaper. Like, what? What? Okay, bathroom, full length mirror, hello, and then what? King size, all to myself. Y'all, what is, what's actually happening? Like, what is actually happening? I think I'm living someone else's life. And it's a mistake. And somebody's going to come out and say, you've been pranked. Like, this is a joke. Look at this. Who the heck am I? <laughs> Who am I? Someone please begin by telling, like, what? Why? Who am I? Who's, who's just going to be lounging with a little side table? Like, <laughs> with this view, y'all, please stop. This is a joke. This is not my life. This is actually not my life. Hello, DC slash Arlington, Virginia. <laughs> oh my God. Like, I literally just don't even know what to do with myself. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> let me tell you. Uh-uh. See, because I'm about to go in. Uh-uh. Let me tell you about the way God is set up. Okay? Let me tell you about the way my God works. <laughs> God is so good. Like, y'all just don't understand where my life was a year ago. A year and a half ago, really. But a year ago, like you just don't even I don't think y'all understand even as of what was that end of March, my whole everything had question marks over it. And like I took multiple leaps of faith and I am walking in abundant blessings. I mean, abundant blessings. Like I feel like everywhere I turn, God is just doing <laughs> really don't feel like I deserve this but God is so amazing and he continues to bless me and he continues to show me that he has his hand on my life and on my destiny I just like I never would have pictured this stuff for myself y'all I just I just can't even describe it like the things that I prayed for and even things that I didn't pray for are happening and it's just like what? Like, I just, I can't keep up with God. I think this is going to be an amazing weekend. I'll be here until Sunday. So this is my home until Sunday. And I'm just going to soak it all in and just... <sighs> I'm going to take advantage of every part of this opportunity. And yeah! Yeah! I'm just really happy. These are happy tears. My heart is literally like, oh. Like, y'all know that scene in The Grinch when he's like, ah, oh, and he's like falling out at the end because his heart is growing, like, and beating super hard? That is me right now. Like, I just feel like I could just roll around on this floor. Not recommended in a hotel room. I don't care how nice it is. So I'm not going to do that. But I just, like, I'm overwhelmed with God's goodness. I don't know what I did to deserve this. Other people have roommates, so I don't even know why I'm by myself. I literally walk up to the counter and the lady was like, um, what's your last name? Okay, your stay is paid in full. I just need to see an ID. Um, someone paid for Wi-Fi for your room. Like, y'all, I am basic gaby from Akron, Ohio. Basic. Basic. I literally was like, who am I? Even the concierge guy was like, I'll carry your bags in. I was just like, like, who is she? Who, who is she? Okay, stop. This is now getting weird. I know y'all are probably like, okay, you're weird. Yep, this is me on the regular. Shook by God's grace and mercy. Just shook. Okay, I'm going to get myself together because I think this is an event in like an hour and a half. So I'm going to get myself together so I look presentable and... Let's have an awesome weekend. Hello, DC slash Arlington, Virginia.
right, you guys. So I was rushing and ripping and running to make it to this reception. It was literally, I'm thinking it was like an event. No, it was not an event. It was literally like some finger foods, like appetizers, legit appetizers, and um, desserts. And like people were just walking around everywhere. It was like, I couldn't even find my people. I eventually found them. But for the first night, it was just like, okay, do I really want to dive into this networking thing? Or like, it's just a little socially overwhelming. Like I'm usually good in spaces like that, but it was just like, okay, I don't know these people. So I really got to meet other Ohio State people that I didn't know, cause we were all like standing together. And then we were like, yeah, so how about some real food? So I'm going now with uh, two people from Ohio State to go get Thai food. I've actually never had Thai food. At least I don't think that I have. I don't know but I had to come switch my shoes because I had heels on and I'm like I did all this for nothing I'm so glad I felt like I was like underdressed you guys can't really tell but I had like slacks on and like this and I was like you know am I too like underdressed because I didn't want to ruin my other outfits yet I'm so glad I did it okay you hear me it was just it would not have been worth it so now I am putting on my coat I mean are y'all sick of this coat yet because I'm not <laughs> Y'all gonna see this coat all fall 2018, winter 2019. Yep, no shame. It's just so like, oh, I just feel like I'm doing something. But yeah, guys, I have got to go because I'm meeting them. Oh, I'm meeting them in the lobby. They said it's 50 degrees outside, which typically would be fine, but we're not gonna risk it. I'm currently double pairing with Ohio State, so I'm slightly embarrassed, but you know what? It's fine. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking because I gotta go if I wanna eat. Okay, bye. Just wanted to show you an OOTD. My jacket is causing me issues, but I'm late, so I can't do anything about it. So I'm just gonna enjoy this day. Uh, it is Friday, it is definitely Friday, and I'm gonna hurry up so I can make this opening session, and I will show you as much as I can of my first full day at SREV. <laughs> what I have to do in the morning. I have to get up at six at least. I probably should get up earlier, but I'm just not, I'm just not gonna do it. I don't know if I really caught it all for you guys, because this is a professional conference, so I can't really just have my phone out like vlogging at all points of the day. So I went to two sessions today. The first one was financial planning, bomb, learning about investments in stocks and where to put your money and what all of that even means. So I don't know very much at all. No, I know nothing about investment and stuff. And honestly, even after the session, I will have to go do my own research if I really want to be informed. Like what he said was good, but I feel like you also had to have some background in investments and stocks to know what he was talking about. But it did spark my interest to go look it up and to start investing now with the little bit of money that I have. Um, and hopefully it'll pay off for my future. And he told us a few, you know, tips and tricks. I'm like, okay, okay. And then the second one I went to was getting published. If you are in higher education, graduate school, whatever, whatever, you know that getting published is important. Being on research teams, getting research out, getting it published, 
by those journals that have impact factors really um, is important and she even talks about publishing books as well but I was really in there for the article portion because I am in the process of submitting some articles but hear me I'm not like first author I'm not really much of anything on these articles but a lovely editor and a, and a helping hand <laughs> okay I'm just easing myself in easing myself in but um that session was really 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 good both of them were just they were good um then we had a luncheon which was I think we just had keynote speakers nothing super fancy and then the dinner was like a celebration it was like a graduation basically um like a commencement for so students of color who do not feel supported by their institutions and chose not to for whatever reason walk in their own graduation at their university have chosen to walk here so they have a ceremony for them like full regalia like all of them were doctors so there was like 60 something of them and they all got to speak and like it was lovely we ended up leaving and having a bomb conversation just amongst ourselves the osu group that i was sitting with we all just kind of went and just talked about life and various things that affected being black women single in higher education and the tomfoolery that y'all black men be throwing our way mm -hmm, in the dating world yeah great conversation absolutely great conversation so but yes i am going to wash my face now and stop talking so i can go to bed because yeah i still have a full day tomorrow and a half a day sunday i'm loving my room and this experience and just counting my blessings so enough talking i'm gonna do what i have to do and i'll see you guys in the morning good night good morning you guys i had a little bit of a rough morning Unfortunately, I tried to use that new bedtime feature that iPhone has because the girl that I was here with was telling me about it. It didn't wake me up at all, so I missed one of the things that I wanted to do this morning, but you know what? I had a moment about it because I was really upset with myself. I don't understand myself sometimes. Why did you set a backup alarm? Like, why would you try something new when you're at a conference? I don't really know, but it's okay because I still have time to make it to two very good sessions, the luncheon. I'm going to go downstairs now and head to that first session. I'll do a little OOTD. It's like a dress, a straight dress. This dress has been hanging on like for a while it's a really good quality dress it's from new york and company um it's sleeveless and so i just always wear like a blazer or a sweater with it but i switched up my hair because uh the bun was just not hanging on anymore so i went ahead and did like a half up half down it worked out pretty well i was a little nervous there for a minute uh, stuff happens and then you just gotta pick yourself up and keep moving like you're not gonna just sit here and call yourself dumb all day and like that's not gonna get you anywhere see you guys later <laughs>
because that they've already seen you because you you photo bomb. How you doing? She was like, like me too, girl. Me too. Everybody in the room. Say hello. Hey. Say hello. kicking it not really we were laid out watching corpse bride fighting to keep our eyes open and i gave up the fight um tomorrow we're heading out and guys i don't know if i told you this but this weekend everything was going on in dc i'm actually really salty i found out that all of youtube black was here literally the day before i got here matter of fact they was probably in the airport at the same time i was when i came they were all probably flying out and i'm really salty about it like all of my favorite youtubers are here like Gay Babe TV, Jamie and Nikki, um, Daily Davidson's live close to here and they came in town to have lunch with Jamie and Nikki and Gay Babe TV, Gay and Jet, but then they went home so they didn't stay so I wouldn't have run into them but like Natural 85, Whitney, um, who else is here? I saw so many Evelyn from the internet, like cousin, oh my gosh, um, LaGuardia Cross, all these people that I follow their entire lives and their kids in their whole existence. Like Jamie and Nikki is whole from Australia and they were in town. In town. When I tell you if I would have got here the day before, I literally would have been at Howard living my best life with all my favorite YouTubers. <laughs> like the salt is so epic. I didn't even know that was happening. And then Howard, like I said, Howard's uh, homecoming was this weekend was not even prepared mentally or physically for that experience um anywho my point being what is my point make your point baby i'm tired i'm tired but to take this makeup off i've had a wonderful trip being in this king size amazing room was amazing being here just being here being just having this opportunity period was just really a blessing. I'm counting my blessings. I thank the Lord. I've gotten connected to so many really Ohio State people like low-key. These are my people now. Like the people that I came with. All the GAs that most of us work in ODI. Like just good connection. So um, can't even lie. I really love this big space room. I'm going to sleep real good in this king size bed for one more night. And then we out. So I'm gonna stop blabbing. Um, just wanted to come on and close out the vlog and let you know I had a really awesome trip. I hope you subscribe if you enjoyed this. Make sure to like, comment, share, do all those things. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. I'll see you guys next week for episode.